Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dr. John Davidson. We're here today to talk about a shift in your squat. So we see it a lot, and I see it a lot in the clinic. When somebody goes to do a squat, they will have a shift. I'll get Ashley to go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. Is the number one complaint I get across the board for people, and it's so common. You'll squat, and then you see a shift to one side. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it one more time. Do a more exaggerated one. Good. You got that? That happens for a couple reasons. Well, it could be a thousand reasons. One of the reasons, so she was shifting to one side, it could be she had pain on the side that she was shifting away from. So if you have pain on the right hip, whenever you go to do a squat, your body is naturally going to avoid that position and get off of it. It could be an old knee injury. It could be an old ankle injury. It could be an old low back injury. You never really know as a clinician until somebody comes in and I'm able to specifically evaluate them and see what's going on. So in the evaluation, we'll figure out what's going on and what they're trying to do. In the meantime, if you don't have anybody and you want to know how you do it, we're going to go over a couple ways that you can fix your squat on your own. At least try. All right, so the number one way that you see people help fix a shift in a squat is to put a band around them. So go ahead and turn around and you were shifting that direction, right? So because she was shifting in that direction, most people think that you'll put the band around and pull them out of it. That actually makes the deviation worse. So go ahead and demonstrate that. They actually will fight against it and it won't actually fix you. You actually do the opposite. Pull them further into the deviation and they will, they will typically normalize or stabilize. This doesn't work for everybody, but that is a great first option. The other thing is too, a lot of people are by themselves and they don't have somebody to stand here and pull a band. Or they may not have something as stable as this rig right here to be able to stabilize the band to. So how do you do it on your own? The way we found is put a weight underneath the foot on the side of the deviation. So if that's the side that you shift towards, that's the side you're gonna put the weight on. So go ahead and show the squat now. All right, go ahead and grab the bar, back up, and then let's show that again. So you'll come back, you'll stand with your foot completely on the weight, and then squat from there. What that does is it forces all your weight to the other side and forces the non-dominant leg or the non-active leg to take over more of the brunt and will normalize how you squat, all right? That's been the best way for me to do that. Now, what do I do whenever I've gotten somebody to normalize their squat? I will actually shift it to the other side and overload that side. Sometimes that works as well. And then I'll take the weight completely away and do it again. So I want to test, retest continually and continually to work in that direction. So for those of you who have a shift in your squat, give it a try. Put a weight underneath your foot and let me know how it goes. We'll see y'all later. Hey guys, now do me a favor. Go subscribe to our channel, like our videos, comment. I promise you if you comment, I'll get back to you and answer all your questions. Thanks for watching.